and welcome to the premiere of the new season of The Girls. We are so excited today, today Janine, because we have someone direct from Los Angeles, California, a very dear friend of ours yes. that we've known for many years, and you're going to get to meet him. His name is Todd Senafonte, and Todd has been uh, a local guy because he was born in Dunmore, Pennsylvania. You know, our area produces quite a a number of stars. We have a lot of talent here in northeastern Pennsylvania. Yeah. But Todd is uh, multifaceted. He's an actor. He's a body stunt double. He's also an athlete. And Todd, we are so thrilled to have you with us today. Thank you so much for joining I'm us. I'm happy to be here with such beautiful women. Well, we yeah. are uh, we are impressed by your guys. Physique. They're married, so <laughs> hands We're, off. We're married, but you know what? You could still look, right? Well, sure. Nothing, <laughs> nothing wrong with looking. Well, our season is all about light and lively. It's our uh, theme for this season. So why not have some light and lively people on and have some fun? Of course. Yeah, we've so. always had a lot of fun. We go back a long time if we start thinking it's back to the first time we met. Years and years. Yeah. I remember when we first played uh, that Bop It game. Oh my the Boppet. The Boppet bop bop game, game was coming, we but it died. Back that. in the day. I had bop the Boppet game out. Yeah. Pull it. Twist it. Bop, bop it. it. That's exactly <laughs> that right. And so we were having I the blast with the Boppet game. They do. We still have ours. That had to be, what, mid 90s? Oh my gosh. Yeah, uh -oh. we're talking about I don't think it was that long ago. You were. Yeah, I was. Yeah. It was a while ago. And then. Good memories. Our show. Our infamous show. Our body dynamics. In Santa Barbara, California. That yeah. was fun. That was a fun well, time. Yeah, that's when you were really light and lively. Mm, well. But we're, we're getting back now to a little bit about you, Todd. Uh, you're an actor. So how, uh, what made a guy from Dunmore, Pennsylvania, get excited about acting? What was the first thing that brought you to acting? And, and where did you start? Well, Actually, where you? in high school, I was uh, the president of our drama club. So that's pretty much where, you know, I always wanted to be the center of attention. And, you know, what better way of getting involved in the drama club and, you know, having a great time acting with friends. And then, you know, I graduated high school and then I, I went to college, uh, joined the military. And uh, in basic training back in 1990, uh, right before we graduated, we're in the barracks and the drill sergeants rolled out a TV and a VCR. And we played this movie, uh, Bloodsport. And, uh, you know, the star is uh, Jean Claude Van Damme. Yeah. And one of the guys looked at me and said, Hey, you look like that guy. So that's actually where it started. Back in 1990, um, the resemblance kind of like stuck. And then, uh, you know, after basic training, uh, I, I went to uh, Penn State. And then I went to um, um, Bloomsburg. So back in Bloomsburg, is 1993. Uh, then a lot of people started, you know, saying, "Hey, you look like that guy. You look like that guy." What were you studying at the time? Uh, education. I graduated uh, from Bloomsburg with an education degree, and then I'm in uh, Scranton, Pennsylvania, uh, where my mom and dad, well, Dunmore, Pennsylvania, where my mom and dad live, and me and my buddies went down to Murray's in uh, Wilkesbury. Back in 1993, so we're sitting out in the patio. And a, um, an actress was sitting there, uh, Ray Hollett. She's one of the original American gladiators. Her fighting name was Zap. Mm -hmm. And when I, I, I met her and she goes, do you know who you look like? And jokingly I said, Eddie Murphy? No, you look like that you know, Jean-Claude Van Damme guy. And he was very popular. Yeah. At, even oh. at that time. Oh yeah, because mm -hmm. uh, you know, that's you know, when that movie went you know, yeah. big. And that was a great compliment. Yeah, it was. So she goes, look. Before you leave, make sure you know you see me. I really want to talk to you. So it started pouring raining down, and my buddies were like, "Let's get out of here." I said, "Wait a minute." So I found her, and we started talking. She goes, "Let's uh, let's meet next week. I want to talk to you." So we meet up, and she goes, "Look, you should really consider you know trying to get involved with these people, because you never know." So uh, I took her advice. I had some uh, local pictures taken of me doing the kicks and the splits, mm -hmm. and. Um, uh, one day I was, I was working for this uh, uh, local um, photographer and we were doing a, uh, a brochure with uh, me, <laughs> I had a, a shirt on with Joe 
and I was like uh, doing like a brochure for an air, air conditioner. So I'm like, you know, doing like this, looking in the camera with the, with the screwdriver, you know? And the guy taking the picture happened to know uh, Jean-Claude's agent at the time. Get out. So he handed me a card. He said, look, here's his card. See what you can it do with it. It was fake. And then I had it for, you know, maybe a couple months. And I remember one time I'm, I'm eating my Cocoa Puffs <laughs> and I found the card. And I'm like, I you know, I'm ask you what your favorite cereal well, was. You know, Darn you know, it. I've been cuckoo for a long time. <laughs> so I had the card, and I'm like, you know what? What the heck? I called my cousin up. Can you take some pictures of me? You know, doing this, doing that. Got the pictures. I FedExed them uh, to California. Didn't think anything of it. Right. I'm sure they get like a lot of you know junk mail. The next day, uh, I think my dad said, "Look, hey, you got a message," and it was like 310 area code. I'm like 310, 310. It's California. <laughs> so I called it up. Uh, I said, look, hey, this is Todd Sinofonte. I'm, 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 you know, returning your call. Oh, yes, Todd, we received your packet. You look great. Mr. Van Dam is out of the country, but we're going to make sure he gets this. Awesome. I hung the phone up. I called my buddies. Guess what? Guess what? Guess what? So I waited a couple more weeks. Sent more pictures. Another week, sent more pictures. Then I finally called them back. And they were glad you called. Jean-Claude's doing a film in Pittsburgh called Sudden Death. Now, oh. we're not going to guarantee anything, but, you know, see what you can do with it. I packed my little car up. I drove from Scranton to Pittsburgh, like five-hour drive. Mm -hmm. I don't know where I was going to stay. I just drove. Walked into the production office, and I'll never forget, girls at the desk, I walk in, she goes, oh, Mr. Van Damme, you're here. And I'm like, Is that funny? Oh, no, no, I'm Todd. I'm applying for the, you know, stand-in <laughs> photo double. Great, have a seat. Went through an interview, met the assistant director, says, look, can you come back to meet the uh, director? I'm like, yeah. I came back and, you know, look, they go, since you found us, you're going to have to, you know, drive to the set yourself, find your own housing. I said, I don't care. I'll do whatever. So, yeah, I found my own uh, apartment, drove myself self to it and from the set. That's pretty much how the ball got rolling. And the second uh, assistant director came over, uh, have you met... Uh, you know, JC, yeah. I'm like, no. And I remember walking. JC. Oh, yeah, wow. JC. A lot of his good friends call him JC. I, I always called him Jean Claude. I just, you know, thought it was proper. So I was walking down the hallway and I see him, you know, down the hallway with his robe on, checking out his wardrobe. Was introduced, hey, Todd, or Jean Claude, this is Todd. He's going to be your stand in. And he was like, whoa, hey, good double. Where'd you find this guy? I was like, yeah, pleasure to meet you. You know, I, you know I'm a big fan. Great, great, great. So I started off being a stand in. Which, you know, is, you know, you sit getting the lights and the camera angles. And then for the first couple of weeks, you know, I did what I had to do. I left, didn't bother him. And then one day I was setting up a shot in the Civic Arena and the camera was behind us. So I'm standing there and it was like a 50 or, you know, 100 girls in the, in the, in the uh, crowd. And Jean-Claude comes up behind me and says, hey, which girl are you like? I said, well, the girl in the green is pretty hot. So then he would do a scene, and then right before he did a scene, I was like, yeah, you know, I, I was in a long-term relationship, but, you know, that kind of ended. And he was like, really? He goes, wait here. So he does his scene, and he goes, come with me. And we go all the way up to the top in the Civic Arena, and there's me and Jean-Claude just sitting there. And he's going, so what happened? You know, what happened with your girlfriend? So we, we talked about oh my, my relationship, and then at that time, you know, we're talking about his relationship. We talk about training and, and eating. So that was kind of like the first bond that we had. And I remember the little the PA comes up and says, um, Todd, they're ready for you. And I'm like, I'm talking to Jean-Claude. Exactly. Right there. But you have formed, I thought I was it, you know? We have to take a quick break, but you did form a very good relationship. And that relationship continues. So we're going to talk about that. We're going to talk about healthy eating and all of your stunts that you uh, partake in, correct? Sounds good. And uh, maybe we'll even see a stunt by Todd. So I'll stay with us here on The Girls. Living light and lively this season. Wow, so how many of us out there can actually do what you just saw Todd doing? And Todd, to go from one car to the other car, spread with your heels like that. I mean, you can't just get up one morning and do that. Well, that I was, was I just was do it was right it now, like, but I have a dress on, so. That's not trick photography. I mean, that was actually you doing it. Were you not Your husband taught me that. Yeah, oh, 
Oh, my God. He's more she flexible did. than you think. How about it? Well, I didn't want that to get out there, you know, because... You know, I hear you. He's all mine. TMI. He's very shy. He's all mine. He's a shy guy. He is a shy guy. we got to open up a, you know, a little bit. really has to. Bit. And well, he's I'm not a trouble through, uh, this magazine, Muscle and Fitness, and it looks like... Who's this? Is that Who you? Is it? Well, that God. was me. Yeah, that was day, me. Yeah. So it's not you now. It's him. That's him. I try to stay like that all year, you know. But then again, when I go home for the holidays, all you do is eat. Wow. Well, what, it, what was your Welcome fitness to winter. training then and, well, evidently still now because you're Well, then when, I, when I've done the magazines, yeah, you know, I would, you that a lot. I would pretty much cut out, you know, all the sweets. No yeah. chocolate, no ice cream. And I, I, I used to like to eat chips. Uh, no chips. Mm -hmm. So I just stuck with the fish, is... the chicken, you know, and rice. For, if I needed the carbs, you know, for the rice. And it was, you know, it, you're in a, you're not in a really good mood when you diet. No. You know, you, you get kind of irritated, but uh, you know, it's yeah. Well, the beginning of the word is, is lousy diet. Exactly. Yeah. But the results, you know, the are result. worth it. So and talk then, about this. Talk about how this started. How you started to do like the fitness. Uh, the uh, Let's see here. I think it was my, the sixth film I did with Jean Claude. I uh, I got in touch with Muscle and Fitness, um, and they had actually contacted a friend of mine. Said, "Look, you know, do you know how we can get in touch with Todd?" So they contacted me and they said, "Look, we'd like to do a little, uh, you know, feature with you. Are you interested?" I'm like, sure. You know, I, I'd love to, you know, you know, show what I do and maybe, you know, if it can help someone, great. But the thing about fitness and eating is when you work out, everyone's different. Mm -hmm. So you got to find that routine that's going to help you because what I do may not help you. You know, what Sam does may not help anybody because he, uh, he, he eats a lot, doesn't he? He has a liquid diet. Well, liquid diet, the yeah. liquid yeah. diet. He, he's, Bourbon and yeah. the, uh, you Bourbon, know. Scotch. Just scotch. Hey, whatever works. Yeah. He looks yeah. great, too. He's Italian. But yeah, so um, and that's how I, I got that. And from that one, I had another magazine so that kind of escalated to you know being around the movies with you know Jean-Claude um, did help he is a great guy did you, you know, work he, out together uh, on the set of knockoff there was a, we had a you know on the second floor they had a gym so you know a couple of times we would meet up there but he likes to work out alone you know, he had his his own trainer so how about some fun questions then what what is your Favorite, your most favorite stunt? Probably being chased by the tiger. Right. In double team. That was the one. That was amazing. My that favorite was, I remember right before we started shooting, I called my mom. I was able to use the production phone. I said, Help. hey, mom, I'm uh, going to be chased by a tiger. <laughs> oh, it's nice, isn't it? <laughs> uh, no, mom, it's not. Well, yes, it's nice. Yeah, I try to, you know, calm her down. But uh, that was probably. The, the, the scariest time. And then in knockoff, we were doing the rickshaw. We had a rickshaw race. So we're actually pulling the rickshaw, and then I had to, you know, turn the rickshaw around and go down the steps. Go down the steps. So that was kind of, you know, scary. And then a van comes in front of us, and then, you know, I was able to jump up and then, you know, walk across the van. So it's in a big adrenaline and rush. And you actually did that. You mm -hmm. ran up alongside that van. Yeah. So many people today still ask me about that. They'll say, well, did he really do that? Or was that, you know, just effects or oh, yeah. trickery or whatever? In Hong uh, Kong, it's different from, you know, filming in in the States, you know. Safety is not <laughs> their biggest priority, but, right. you know. So what goes through your head? Are you just, how do you mentally prepare you for something I mean, like if, that? If you think too much, yeah. you, you just go. Because, you know, I've got a lot of friends in the business. Um, and their motto is, if you think too much, you know, you're going to get hurt. Is there a stunt that you wouldn't do? I was Did always uh, no hesitant about fire. Okay. Because I've, How about I've water? seen guys, you know, uh, do, you know, fire scenes, and, and they get burned. I'm like, you yeah. know, what's going to happen to me? I mean, because I'll probably stay away from fire. How about height? Um, You've done height. You've I'm jumped not, off of things, right? Yeah, in double team, we had to jump right. in the water. Uh, height is not that big of a problem. Fire is probably, you know, I would rather not do. So All right, cancel wanna, the fire. Wanna, yeah. yeah, I was just saying. Now, the, the love scenes, well, that could I would need a little up. more practice. That you gets know. heat up. It Lady, does get heat. fire. That's the kind of heat I don't mind. Right. The fire. The I actual fire. 
the element well, of fire. Speaking of scenes, in addition to being a body stunt double, you're also an actor in your own right. Yes. And you've been in several films. But of course. But of course. I've done a, a few short films. Um, a Reason to Live was a nice short scene. They needed a, an actor that can, you know, pull off, you know, the scene that I, uh, we're probably going to show a clip of it. It, it uh, you do have to go back to, you know, <laughs> a time in your life where you can bring it out, you know? Mm -hmm. So I thought about a few things, you know, you know, pets dying, you know, family members dying, so. And then I did a film called um, um, Super Shark. It's a sci-fi film. Sci that was fun to do. Super Shark, Jersey Shore Shark Attack was also fun. I love the sci-fi films. I want to do more of those. And then uh, I have a, a few in production now, just waiting for the funding. Uh, Wild Things 3D. Wild Things. Yeah. Is that like my hey. heart? We're supposed to shoot that overseas, which is nice. Um, oh, we'll have to come for that. Risk for Honor and Cranium Intel, which is another film uh, you know, in pre-production. So once the fundings are, are set, we'll be set. So you're a busy guy. I try. And you have um, something in common with Janine with a fitness show that I don't know if we could pull a clip of that up. Do you remember Body back Dynamics? Whoa. Back in the day. We're digging here. Yes. We're digging. We're, We're digging. digging back. We're I, I mentioned mean, that in the beginning oh. of the show because that, he just brought up the Bop It and then our background. Right. You guys forgot about the Bop It. No, I didn't I forget. did. Now listen. But this I remember is the truth. that. I had the Bop It out to bring for the set where we're going to play the game. It. And uh. it, 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 it wasn't working. Oh, so dad was going to try and change the batteries, and then it was the well, whole nine yards with the Well, same changing batteries, that could be an all-day so, event. So, uh, right. yeah, but the bop it was the first thing because we bonded with bop it. <laughs> and my dear friend yeah. Nancy D. Simone, may she rest in peace, but she introduced us to that game. Your mother and I played with her the one night, and then we got hooked on bop it. It is. Especially so when we're going to bop it. Uh, you know, that mentality of I don't like to lose, which we all have. Exactly. Well, sure. So it's like, oh. Yeah. All right, well, I'm stay gonna right win. there. I'm gonna win. Stay right there because when we come back, win. we're gonna meet no, uh, some of Todd's family. We have Grace and Afonte here. All right. Welcome back to the girls. If you're just joining us, our guest today is actor Todd Senafonte. And we are now joined by his mother, Mama. Grace Ann Senafonte, or as I fondly call her and all of her friends, we refer to her as Gray. Great. Thanks for coming. My mommy. Your Everything mommy. is better when you're with my your mom. My agent, publicist, manager. Your mommy. I wish. Mommies. <laughs> mommy mommy and me time. See, there you go. We should play a game. We should. Hmm. We're going to call it. Pop it. Pop it. Pop it. The batteries died. I keep telling you. The battery died. <laughs> Next but, time. Um, now, you know what, Great. So many times I've spoken with you. We always end up talking about Todd, but you do have two other sons. Well, I guess I do. I have an older son, Mark, and I have a young, younger son, Scott. He's okay, the middle so you're the child. Middle. Oh, he's the, the middle child. I, I am the fulcrum. I'm the, the, you know, the you base, are. middle. So. You're the best. <laughs> he's the best. Well, one thing rock. all three of you have in common is you're all good looking. I mean, you come from a good looking family. Well, Your I'm dad's good looking. You three guys are. Frank is a good looking guy. Yeah, yes. we'll give Frank good looking. Yeah. Yeah. We'll Thanks, we'll Frank, for coming today. Frank, Frank, Frank's around here somewhere. So there. <laughs> craft service? Where is he? But seriously, coming from this area, and we've had this conversation before, you live in LA, but you're from an area which is very genuine, uh, hardworking uh, people come from this area. So you really are bringing that background with you when you go out to LA and look for your career uh, moves and, and what you're doing with your life. Yes, I've, I've always been grounded. Yes. I mean, if I, if I, you know, if I let all that get to my head, mm -hmm. she'd kick my butt. Right. You know, so. Like mama. I'd like to talk to my mom and dad, you know, I, I call them a lot, you know, so uh, they keep me, you know, my, they keep my feet on the ground. So, thanks mom. Aww. Aww. And a kiss. And he does really call a couple times a day. Yeah. She would tell us if a you were couple, alive. two, three times, you know. Two, three times. <laughs> now, Gray, how, how did you first feel when you saw Todd? on the big screen. Remember uh, when they had the premiere, you invited us to that premiere. Yeah, we had the premiere you know. and it was like, oh my God, is this real? Someone pinched me, right? What? That's my son, <laughs> you know? And I, I'm 
bumping my husband. Look, 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 stop, stop, stop. And then one scene, uh, a double team, right? He's on the screen all by himself, twice, mm -hmm. and no one picked it up at all. Except you. Except me. <laughs> when he ran, I knew it was him. When he had his hands, like pulling out a drawer, looking like for inserts, something. Like inserts, yeah, inserts. I knew that was, well, basically, they really have almost the same hands. And also, I noticed the first time I ever saw Jean-Claude on the movie. I mean, that was like the first time I heard about him when Tad said, everybody says, oh, you look like Jean-Claude Van Damme. Yeah. There was a movie on, so I figured, well, I'm going to watch it. And I'm watching it, and I thought, oh, my goodness. They have a scar over the exact same mm -hmm. eye, same eye. It was mind-boggling. I couldn't believe. Did you think maybe you had twins and only brought one home from the hospital? Aww. Well, yeah, and he said to me, uh, no, he said it to you. He said, how did you get your scar? Mm. Right? Yeah, yeah. Did you yeah, get it like, like five or six? I, I oh, was no. running around the table, baby. and I Probably fell, and I hit my brothers. head. So, on a slate table? On a slate and, table. Well, that really bonded your career and, and kick-started your career, but since then, meeting Jean-Claude Van Damme, you've really... You know, you've been in infomercials. You've, we've said you've been in the, the magazines, and uh, you're looking to do other movies. Yeah, I did a, a ab slide infomercial back in the day, and then recently, I did a um, infomercial for Jackhammer Abs, which is similar uh, to the ab slide. So. And I bought that ab slide because of you. Yeah, it's working. <laughs> it's it's working. It works. See, it does work, folks. Look at this. Yeah, Only I'm, if you I'm, use it like you showed me. Yeah. Yeah. You know, te that didn't technique come out is. Yet, right? Well, the app slide was, yeah, back in yeah. the day. Yeah, that's but the, she one that you, the one that you're talking no. about. Eventually, it'll, it'll come out, yeah. And I know your mom has all the clippings, all of the magazines. These are probably her magazines that we have here and um, is probably your greatest supporter. Well, yeah, if I, not I, like I said, you know, wherever she goes, my pictures go. Absolutely. She'll go to strangers and say, hey, of you want to see a picture? she's a proud mama. She is. Thank God for smartphones, and you just keep all your Smart pictures phones. on there, and you, oh, yeah. your and kids you know, are your I, pride and joy. I, I like, drop my phone, not my phone, excuse me, my purse, and I'll be doing something in the store. I always do that. I always lose my <laughs> purse. Drop the purse. And I go, oh, my God, that's pictures. <laughs> and you care about my Aww. license oh, yeah. and Aww. all my credit Her cards. Checkbook. Credit cards. Everything. As long as she has those pictures, you know, she's fine. And then well, once I got it, oh, thank you. How do you deal with him being so far away? You're in California. And it's you're hard. in northeastern well, Pennsylvania. With electronics it's hard. now and technology, I'm but sure it's, you really usually, feel closer. Usually, him and Scott, my youngest, is out, also out there. And uh, this past year that passed by, we haven't didn't see them in two years. So I told my husband, I said, uh uh, that's too long not mm -hmm. to see your sons. So we see my oldest son like, Oh, every other weekend because he's right in Jersey. Right. And, you know, we like to go down and visit him. But when the king comes home, what happens? All the good food When the king comes, comes home here. So what is, uh, let's ask some local questions. Where are your favorite places to go when you're home? Like you have to have some hot spots that you love, pizza or yeah, on Facebook, bars or everybody. some places that you like. Are you asking like the king? The, the king. king. I like that. That's here. My king. new name for you. The <laughs> king. What's Todd Frank the king. Is he the, uh... He's the yeah. exalted ruler. Ooh. <laughs> exalted ruler. I like that. <laughs> exalted when I, when ruler. I, when I come back, yeah, uh, I, like? I like to, uh, you know, I call my buddies up. And then if you've, you know, a few places in Dunmore, you know, local. How about your favorite foods now? Yeah, what like, are you what missing, are Cali, that Does you Does mom have, have to here? make these foods? Well, or? back in the day, she made the best fettuccine Alfredo. Oh. And her lasagna, uh, nobody, nobody can touch her lasagna, but the fettuccine Alfredo, wherever I would go, each restaurant. you try it. I would try it. I would call her and say, Mom, yours is better. Aw, right? thank you. Yeah. Okay. Or this one was pretty close. It was pretty close. Now, how about the cookie packages? Because right before Christmas, probably around the end of October when I'm talking with you on the phone, mm -hmm. You make how many different kinds of cookies? Ten. Ten different kinds of cookies. And I'm always here, I have to hurry up and get these cookies packaged Todd. up because I have to mail them out to Todd. You know, yeah. so Todd, what happens when you get the cookies? Do you have Oy. a bunch of friends or oh, you hide heck, them? It just, it's, we, we go nuts. Yeah. Well, I the knew they were coming were in, so at least I saved money this time yeah. on postage. Well, I get like a, you know, like a little 
We'll take basket, with everything you know. in it, but I mean, there's quite a bit in oh, it. Oh, I've received I share one, one of those, too. You know, and yeah, the that rest. keeps the rest. Exactly. I, I usually don't share any of them. I like well, the little I'm raisin a, bars. I'm a nice guy. You can have one, one. but that's it. Or a bite. <laughs> yeah. So what do you, you share? You can look at them. <laughs> what, what do you share with your dad? Smell this, them. <laughs> this is the mommy thing. How about with the dad? I happen to know that you have a favorite car. What's your favorite oh. car? Well, the, Frank and I, my dad. Yeah. Frank. We're big Mustang buffs. So, um... You know, my favorite car is the uh, 67 Shelby Mustang. And do so, you own one? No. No, Not those yet. are, hey, those are up there, but you know, you never know. Well, Didn't we have one, one on order and it didn't get here in time. It should be rolling in. So when it does, we'll just drive it down to California Perfect. for you. Perfect. And I hope the Frank will have a good time current. driving that around. Frank will drive it down the he's got, he's got a, You know, he's got a uh, 65 Fastback, you know. He's got a 70 Boss he's working on. And then he's also a Chevy guy. He's got a 64 Impala, so 63 Impala, so he's, he keeps busy. You had fun as a kid growing up with dad I learned and the, a lot. the two brothers My dad with the is, cars. He's and... a renaissance man, you know, and that's, that's one thing I, I always strive to be, you know. Kids have uh, idols, you know, athletes, actors, you know. My idol's my dad, you know, he's, uh, he's a great inspiration to, you know, a father, um, husband, so. You're very lucky. He's a keeper. You know. He's a keeper. We'll keep him around, you know. The exalt road. Well, we'll you know what? We're gonna we're gonna continue years. having some fun here. I know that we're Bop running it. out of time. We're gonna Bop play it. some games. We're gonna have to pull it. it. Pass pull it. Press it. Pass it. 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 All right, well, we're going to go get one, and maybe you could catch the rest of that watching us on uh, SSP TV. You could catch us on YouTube or check us out on Facebook. Todd, you have uh, a big career still ahead of you. You have a lot of great projects, so keep tuning in to the girls, and we'll keep you in touch with Todd. And, and check out my fan page. Check out his fan we'll, uh, page. We'll get it up there. All right, I hope you had as much fun as we did meeting Todd, and we're going to continue on, so we're going for lunch. <laughs>